my first tip would be very much to be organised. Just knowing where to attain the information that you need in order for your accountant to review. So for example, knowing where the bank accounts are held, how to get hold of bank statements, whether, they're, whether there's online filing or whether you actually have manual copies held at home. Just very simplistic things, but being organised would be my number one top tip. My, very much my second top tip, and this is really from the experience that I've gained from dealing with such clients, is to just come and see us so, as early as possible. I cannot reiterate that enough. I had a client in the other day um, who actually needed to file her form uh, within the next three days. Uh, three days doesn't give an accountant long enough to assemble all the information needed. We did manage to, but it's not ideal. We want to consider the full picture and with such a limited amount of time you do get concerned that actually are you achieving the best result for your client. So, just come and see an accountant early. Don't bury your head in the sand. Really stress that enough. Drop the children off at the school gates and go and organise an appointment with your accountant. I think it's important to tackle the form E early and preferably tackle it with your accountant. Uh, this is particularly the case if a business valuation is involved because a business valuation um, needs information to be completed and can take some time to complete and it's not a job that you can do just by coming in for a morning together and looking through it, it takes more time than that.